The Green Bay Packers got into the playoffs last season as a wild card and then beat Pittsburgh in the Super Bowl. And yet, Aaron Rodgers and the Pack might be better than the squad that won it all last season. The Packers, of course, are the defending champions. They did it by the wild card route. They did it without a whole bunch of important players who were injured last year, and many of them have come back, including tight end Jermichael Finley, who is a player to watch. Aaron Rodgers and Finley could be the most dynamic passing duo in the league this year. Arguably, the Eagles are the favorites in the NFC East, led by their $100 million quarterback, Michael Vick. But Philly got better as well. With their eyes on the prize that Green Bay won, the Eagles made some key off-season moves. The Eagles, they won free agency. Everyone uh, will admit that. They went out and signed some of the biggest names, improved their team tremendously by getting people like Namdi Asamoa and Cullen Jenkins for the defense. Uh, Vince Young's not a bad backup behind Michael Vick, should Michael Vick get hurt. Uh, but I don't think the Eagles are the best team in the conference. I'm not sure the Packers are either. The best teams in the NFC might reside in the South. The Saints might be better than when they won the Super Bowl two years ago. And Atlanta is a top contender in the conference as well, both teams featuring a very talented rookie on offense. I think the Saints are better than they've been even when they won the Super Bowl two years ago. I really like what they've done in upgrading their defense. I think their running game will be very, very strong. Watch for the rookie, Mark Ingram, their first-round draft pick, the Heisman Trophy winner from two years ago. I think he's a favorite to win the Offensive Rookie of the Year. And if he doesn't win it, watch for Julio Jones, the wide receiver that Atlanta traded up so high in the draft to get. He could be the top rookie offensive player. The Falcons are led by fourth-year quarterback Matt Ryan, the former first-round pick who threw for 28 touchdowns and more than 3,700 yards in a 13-3 and campaign last season. In the NFC West, the Rams might be the favorite in what could be considered the weakest division in the NFL. Steve Carmazan, Associated Press.